Yu-Gi-Tube, Dark Magician of Team Sorcerers here, and this Yu-Gi-Oh! What If is actually a request by Express Gaming. Um, now, it is July at the time of recording this, and it's probably not going to get uploaded until October, but, but I thought I'd do it before uh, my other... The other Yu-Gi-Oh! What Ifs I was going to film beforehand, and this one is What If I Liked Walking the Gates? You know, whether it's a spell in the gate like Naturia Beast or Hope Harbinger, a dark bribe on legs like Gladiator Beast, Heraklinos or Endymion, or just monsters that negate everything like Dragoon, Toad, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, for one thing, um, if I had that mindset, then you know, negates wouldn't bother me. I mean, I mean, I'd be fine using them myself, and I would not have an issue with them being used against me. Um, although maybe they'd still be more love-hate cards. Um, well, for one thing, it would mean that I wouldn't hate a lot of the decks that I hate, including Gladiator Beast Heraklinos, um, which gave us really the first ever dark... Uh, which, of course, is the first ever dark bribe on legs. Um, so, yeah, I'd have no reason to hate Glads. War Chariot would still be annoying, though. Um, but, you know, I probably still wouldn't build them myself. Um, and then, when the Legendary Six Samurais came along, uh, which included Shen, um, I'd find that exciting. As, although Six Samurais were tough to play against in the GX era, I didn't have a reason to hate them. Um, in fact, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but some point in 2007, I did try and make my own Six Samurai deck. The only problem is, I couldn't get Grandmaster, because at the time it was only available as a secret rare, and it was too expensive and too difficult to get. Uh, so I made proxies. Um, but, yeah, that never wins anywhere. Um, and if anything, um, I'd probably try and rebuild my six samurais, just to bring them back. Um, just out of my fondness for warrior-based decks. Um, so yeah, I also just remembered about Herald, more specifically Herald of per Perfection. Um, yeah, the, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, it wouldn't be my most hated ritual monster in the game, um, although it would be a struggle to play against, unless of course the opponent bricked, but, um, but, yeah, I probably still wouldn't play it myself, um, but, but six samurais I'd probably end up playing myself, and, um, even run the Churia Beast in it. Um, I'm trying to think what else came after. Um, but, you know, moving forward in time uh, to when Vortex and Infinity came into the game. Uh, actually, oh no, before that, there's also Shooting Quasar Dragon to consider. Um, I'd probably get that for my Yusei character deck and play it. Um, even though, like, in a character deck, it would be a bit difficult to summon. And um, I'd have to... Um, and if I wanted to play it in a deck, I'd have to uh, maybe play a Synchron deck or something. <laughs> um, speaking of, I probably would end up making Synchrons at some point, as opposed to Stardust Junk, and it would include Junk Warrior and Stardust Dragon, considering they're two of my favourite Synchros, but 
I would basically uh, just do what every other Synchron player was doing and use it to build up to Quasar and later on Blazar. Um, regardless of whether I played Synchrons or just went on to make Stardust junk. Um, now going forward in time, so when Vortex came out, um, like when I would go on to make a Pendulum Dark Magician and um, Dimension Dragons, which again would evolve into Odd Eyes Dimension Dragon, I would actually play um, Vortex in in those decks. Um, although maybe in Pendulum Dark Magician it might be a bit difficult to do, but in a dedicated Pendulum deck running the Odd Eyes, the Magician Pendulums and the Performer Pals, um, yeah, I mean, I would just run it without question. Um, and then, of course, when Infinity would come out, um, I would still, of course, remake my Cyber Dragon deck at some point, even if it's in 2018, like I actually did, and I would end up playing it. Um, then, when Borrowed Savage Dragon came out, I would play that in my Rocket deck in a heartbeat. Um, and then have my rockets play all the different summoning mechanics, just like my Cybers deck. Well, I say all, but neither of them have a pendulum. Um, uh, uh, of course, if I if I ended up playing um, the gates in all these decks. Um, I have a bad feeling I would annoy some opponents, uh, being like, this is bullshit, I can't do anything. Um, and um, I would genuinely feel bad. Um, and then comes the big question. Um, what about Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, my most hated monster in the game, like in the actual timeline? Well. Yes, I absolutely would play it if I liked Walking the Gates. Um, it would go into my Dark Magician deck in a heartbeat, same with my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck, although the problem is I'd have to get multiple copies, and I don't know how many of each I would play in my decks. I would still have needed one for my collection, um, but I don't know if I would have played one or two in uh, my Dark Magician and Red Eyes decks. I definitely wouldn't have played three, because that would have just been overkill. Um, so two would have felt like a safe bet, although I'd have been fine with one. But if I remember correctly, Dragoon, even though it was just an ultra rare in the 2020 Mega Teen Mega Packs, it still would have been too expensive and too difficult to get, but, um, but I would still go out of my way to get either um, a playset or five copies. Um, and then of course um, with Predaplon Verte Anaconda just floating around, I would have had absolutely no problem doing what other people did, and that is put um, Verte in every single deck, along with Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Dragoon. And of course, I would do the same with Rainbow Neos, Neos Fusion, Neos, and Rainbow Dragon. I mean, yeah, they would be bricks, but um, I'd have a blast trying it anyway. Um, but then again, I'd kind of get a bit concerned that it would be taking away from what other decks are supposed to do. Um, so maybe I'd consider it, but probably not go through with it, especially considering Dragoon was hard to get at the time. 
Um, um, I don't think I would have been popular with um, uh, some people in the YouTube community and Yu-Gi-Oh community for doing that, since um, not a lot of people liked seeing Verte and Dragoon thrown in absolutely everything, um, which of course was ultimately why Anaconda got banned. Um, Um, so, yeah, Dark Magician-wise, uh, Dragoon would have been the go-to fusion, as well as uh, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knights. Um, I probably wouldn't have ended up quitting tournaments after making a return to it, because, um, well, cause I feel like um, with Dragoon at my side, uh, I would have well, I'd like to think I would have had some easy wins, um, even though you know, there are outs to it. Not many, but still outs nonetheless, mainly kaijus and super poly. Um, um, and yeah, that's basically um, how I would have played Dark Magician. I mean, I didn't want it to be Dragoon Dot deck, but it would have been something I could put out on the field and just feel safe behind it. Um, um, yeah, Express Gaming also asked me um, what the favourite negate would be in this timeline. Um, he guessed it would be Dragoon, but would be surprised if it was Quasar, but his first guess is absolutely right. It would have been Dragoon, hands down, considering it was being played in my favourite and signature deck. Um, but then comes the question of Richition format. Um, I mean, would that format have still been made? Um, uh, I, I guess it's kind of unlikely. Um, uh, I don't know if I would have ever given the minor league a shot. Um, it's hard to say. Um, especially considering Dragoon is banned in the minor league, and 2.5. Um, uh, I also forgot to mention about Toad and uh, Invoked Mechaba. Um, uh, when I brought back my Frog deck, I would have uh, naturally played Toad, as um, it would have given them a nice boost. Um, invoked I might have had a go at playing, whether it was just pure or whether I would mix it with other decks. Um, and uh, it would have been a hundred percent up my street considering Invoked is based on the Final Fantasy games. Um, now, even though I'm not exactly a Final Fantasy fan, I did play similar games and I have played Final Fantasy XI online um, in the second half of the 2000s. Um, <clears throat> so yeah that would have been an option. Um, but yeah depending on how well I would be doing in tournaments um, I probably wouldn't have ended up quitting them. Um, I'd like to think I would have done well in a lot of games, uh, mainly because of Dragoon. I mean, sure, um, and people could have found a way around it with, like I said, Kaijus, Super Poly, or just simply baiting in the gates, but um, at least I would have been on a more level playing field. Um, 
hell might even still be playing to this day. Um, although, in casual games with Emma, she might not like me using those sorts of cards. Um, her, and then I'd feel bad if I did, but then again, I feel like I'd just end up trying and doing something else um, without um, <clears throat> bringing out Dragoon or in the gates just to make it more fair. Um, yeah, and would only go for Dragoon if I was desperate. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's basically how things would have gone. Um, and maybe I would have been uh, more inclined to play in YCSs and regionals and stuff, and um, uh, go along to those with friends of mine. Um, maybe not so much in within the last two years, um, considering my work hours have dropped drastically but um, yeah, I wouldn't have had a problem uh, with going to those otherwise and playing in them see how I do um, sort of resume an old goal of making my mark in the Yu-Gi-Oh world um, Um, uh, so yeah, I would have dabbled in the competitive side still, but I still wouldn't have played anything meta. Um, I would have still wanted to stick with my favourite decks with each passing format. Um, And, um, I don't know, maybe I'd sometimes play in the minor league, I don't know, um, maybe mix it up, um, but, um, it wouldn't have led me to creating retrition formats, wouldn't have found a reason to, really, um, Um, unless somehow I did get tempted to make a somewhat more casual format, but I don't know. It's difficult to say. Um, you know, I guess I also would have had more tournament wins under my belt, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, that would pretty much sum up um, what would happen if I liked monsters that negated everything. Um, my list of hated decks would definitely be a lot shorter. Um, I'd probably still hate the odd F OTK and FTK deck. Oh, Endymion! I forgot to mention Endymion. Um, because I wouldn't hate Endymion, the Mighty Master of Magic in this timeline, I would have absolutely no problem playing against um, that deck being piloted by Webers 5 or whoever time and time again, and um, and every now and then there'd be more frequent a clash of rival decks, you know, me with Dark Magician, him with Endymion, um, Maybe I'd play in Dimion myself uh, at some point, um, and I'd just happily uh, put Mighty Master plus the other Pendulums into my Arcanites of Endymion deck just to make it better, um, and it could be a really strong deck. 
and yeah, that would definitely sum it up. Um, but naturally, just monsters that negate everything are just no fun whatsoever. Um, I, mean, I guess in another life, I would have liked them and given them another chance, but um, but otherwise, I just really can't stand them. They're just bullshit, unfair, unhealthy, and bad for the game. You know, uh, even if there are outs to them, but you know, there's no guarantee you'll draw those outs. Um, you know, either way, they. They're just frustrating to play against, and they just suck all the fun, life and joy out of the game. Um, and like I said, they're part of the reason why I quit normal tournaments, and why I stopped playing um, the normal current format, and why I banned them from Retrition format. Well, all except two of them, Cyber Darkness Dragon and... Majestic Star Dragon, um, although at the time of recording this I am thinking about banning them. I don't know if it would have happened by the time you're watching this, but um, but, I, but I am considering it because a negate is a negate and the whole point of retrition format is to not have to deal with degenerate bullshit that doesn't let you play. But I guess the only reason why I didn't hit those is because, well, with Cyber Darkness Dragon, it can only do it once, and then it can't do it again um, once it's used it. Whereas with Majestic Star Dragon, well, uh, more often than not, it can only do it on the card holder's turn, and if it does negate something it can only do it once and it has a fair cost which is tributing itself of course it might be a different story with arriving light on the field I mean if I don't ban majestic star dragon from my format I'd probably ban that instead but I'd have to see um, uh, uh, would there really be much point? Because, again, at the time of recording this, there's only seven of us uh, willing to play under my format. Um, and none of us are playing Cyber Darks. Um, and nobody's playing a deck with Majestic Star Dragon in it. Well, except me with my You Say character deck. But, you know, but uh, that's another story. Um, so I'm just not sure. Um, they're not as bad as other monsters that negate everything because uh, of their conditions, but at the same time, this they are still monsters that negate everything, um, which defeats the whole point of my format. So I just don't know. It's a really, it's kind of a hard balance. Now I know, obviously, just outside of retrition format, I mean, I could play negates in my decks if I wanted to. Um, <clears throat> and, um, you know, get some easier wins. Um, but I still don't want to go down that path uh, for a number of reasons. I feel like it would just be too easy. Um, and again, it just takes all the fun out of the game. And, um, yeah, I also can't help but feel like if I go down the path of playing the gates, um, I might not be able to get out of it. Um, and not only that, I'd be branded a hypocrite, considering that I've been ranting about monsters like this for years. Absolutely years. Um, uh, 
Uh, uh, plus, I mean, since I'm not playing in any tournaments anyway, I don't even see the point of running the gates. Anyway, um, so let's face it, the casual side is a lot more fun, and it's just, and games are just a lot better anyway, with no monsters that negate everything whatsoever, nor dark bribes on legs. Anyway, that's it for this What If episode. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.